Hello everyone, Tyler from Painted Rose Productions here. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about an epidemic sweeping the nation. Reefer. This is an epidemic. An epidemic. Epidemic. So I'm here today to present to you a film called Reefer Madness, formerly known as Tell Your Children and GNH Production. Let's see what it has, shall we? So this film starts with a PTA meeting with a teacher and a bunch of parents, and it goes on for a while. So we're going to skip past that to the good stuff. The dried leaves and berries are ground up and made into cigarettes by a simple hand machine. The deadly narcotic is thus quickly and easily prepared for its market. Go on. The sale of marijuana is even more difficult to detect and halt than the traffic in drugs such as opium. Wait a second, where did this guy get all of this opium? Like, he's got a lot of opium just sitting there in the heroin. In the heels of shoes. Who is this guy? Women's shoes especially, because the drugs can be secreted in false heels. Hollowed shaving brushes are another medium. Books with false centers are often used. What are you talking about? This is just a normal book. See? No drugs in it. No drugs. And more vicious, more deadly, even than these soul-destroying drugs, is the menace of marijuana. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Tell me this. Heroin, opium, probably crack too. That's all more dangerous than marijuana. Kids, kids, kids gather around. Don't do marijuana. If you're gonna do a drug, do heroin. It's less dangerous. You know what? Go straight to... Cut straight to crystal meth. Cut to it. Cut the crystal meth. All right, so we're about eight minutes into the movie now, and it finally starts. Um, the way this movie starts is with this guy named Jack and May, and they're apparently really bad drug dealers, which we'll find out more later. Oh, by the way, Ralph, I'm sort of getting a little party Saturday afternoon over at my grandmother's. You know the place of the swimming pool? Like to come? Thanks, Eddie. Maybe I will. Let's play that back. Mother. You know the place of the swimming pool? Like to come? Thanks, Eddie. Maybe I will. Like, I know he's saying thanks, Eddie, but it definitely sounds like thanks, Daddy. Listen again. Over at my grandmother's. You know the place of the swimming pool? Like to come? Thanks, Eddie. Maybe I will. Thanks, Daddy. Maybe I will. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Maybe I will. <laughs> so Ralph is friends with Jack, the drug dealer. And Ralph is interested in this girl, Mary. He thinks she's swell. But Mary's interested in Billy. And Billy's all right. So Ralph and Jack go up to... Billy, Mary, and Jimmy, who is Mary's brother, and invite them to a party. Well, as is commonplace in these times, Billy and Mary have some doubles to play. That's tennis, for those of you who don't know. And uh, so Jimmy goes along. And I think they're trying to get him to do drugs. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure they're going to a drug party. Let's find out.
Don't you know him? That's hot finger Friday. Say that again. Why don't you know him? That's hot finger Friday. Hot fingers what? Why don't you know him? That's hot finger Friday. Hot fingers Peroni? Hot finger Friday. Pepperoni? Hot finger Friday. Pierogi? Hot finger Friday. This guy, all I know is this guy's got hot fingers, and I don't know what his name is, but it starts with P. Hot fingers P is what they call him. Sam, what did they say? Well, l listen, listen again. Hey, he ain't no paper man. Also, hey, he ain't no paper man. Oh, don't you know him? That's hot fingers paper man. <laughs> He's a paper man. What is he saying, Sam? I think he's hot fingers Peretti. No, it's, listen. Hey, he ain't no paper for that. Why don't you know he ain't that hot fingers Peretti? Oh, wait, now maybe it's Peroni? <laughs> Peroni? Hot fingers Peretti. <laughs> okay, so as far as I can tell what's going on now is Jack and Ralph and this other lady are trying to find more kids to come do reefer with them? At Jack's place, I, I think it's somewhat unclear. Maybe it will become more clear as we go on. So let's continue. So Hot Fingers Ping Pong Man goes into the closet to do reefer, which, as you can see, so this movie was in black and white at first, and they colorized it, and. Boy, did they colorize it. Boy, did they colorize it. It is... I think you got some bad weed, dude. Check your dealer, man. This is not good. That is not good weed. So we cut to Billy and Mary, who have finished their doubles, and they come home. Billy is trying to impress Mary with his uh, apparent knowledge. And I think he says something about domestic spying. I think he says something about domestic spying. I can't be certain, but I think that's what he says. Here, play it back. It's sweet of you to help me, Bill. Well, I'll try anything except domestic spying. Why, Bill? Yeah, I hear domestic spying. So, you know, leave it in the comments if you think it's something else, but I'm pretty sure it's domestic spying. Um, and this is just awkward. Mary's mom brings out some hot chocolate, and then they start doing, doing Romeo and Juliet, and then they kiss, and then this, this, what is this? Why is his mom staring at them like this? What is happening? It's so awkward. It's so awkward. And then he, he does this. This is, this is what baffles me the most. The mom catches him kissing, and then, look at this. He falls in the pool. He said pool. Is it a pool? Pond. Okay, he falls in the pond. And and I don't I just don't know. So anyway, we cut back <clears throat> from this awkward scene to a quick interlude at Billy's house with his family. Then Billy, looking for Mary, goes and meets up with Jimmy. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Mary told me to wait and tell her she had to go home. Her mother wanted her to go to the dressmaker with her. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. Who takes him to the soda shop place where he has a soda and Billy has a root beer. There's a distinction. It's important. Forget about it. I wasn't going any place in particular. Well then, how about driving me over to the Joe's place with me? I'll buy you soda. I never drink that stuff. Well, gee, I'll buy you something else. Okay, you're on the hook for one root beer. Well. Anyway, so then Jimmy invites Billy to go back to the drug house. Let's see how that unwinds. Oh, 
Okay, so at the drug house, people keep saying, this is Billy. He's all right. He's okay. Like, Sam, can you just cut together like a quick little splice of these? Yeah, Bill Harper. He's all right. So up at the drug house, Billy meets this girl, Blanche, who's got the hots for him. And what better way to say, I've got the hots for you, than making you smoke marijuana. I'll just take a puff of it. While they're at the drug house, Jack runs out of weed to give these kids, right? So he needs to go to his boss's house, but he can't because his car's in the shop. So he borrows Jimmy's car and they both go together to this boss's house. And then it's like a business place. It's not really a house, but whatever. You follow me. Jimmy, before Jack goes in, is like, hey, give me some weed, bro. And then Jack does. He's like, gives him some weed and then goes in. So anyway, Jimmy and Jack go driving back to the drug house and Jimmy's super high, which apparently makes him drive fast, which all that I've ever heard about weed is that it makes you drive really slow and carefully. But apparently the reefer madness people didn't do enough drugs to research this. So they just made it so that you go really fast and he ends up hitting a guy like watch. This is him hitting a guy. Did you cut? Did you cut to it? Okay. Is that a yes? Did you, did you cut to it yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he hits a guy and then just drives off. It's a hit and run. And then like these people help him up. He's apparently not dead, but whatever. So then there's this little scene where Jimmy comes home. And he's eating breakfast with Mary, and he gets all like, why are you giving me the third degree, Mary? Why? Are you a detective? Are you a policeman? Do you have a hat that goes forwards and backwards and have a magnifying glass? And is like, hmm, I'm Sherlock Holmes, and I am a detective. And I go outside, and I search for things and clues, and I can make combinations. And she's like, yo, bro, chill. Maybe smoke some weed. <laughs> yes. You're infusing bro into this movie a lot more than I don't think anyone utters the word bro. Not once. Not, not once. Or your version they do. But my in my heart, my heart of They're hearts they bro. say bro. Well, so then it cuts to another little scene down. where the principal of the not school, it. who's the guy from the PTA yeah. meeting at the beginning, I'm uh, apparently he is All the right, principal right. of Billy's school. And he's like, Billy, it. why are your grades going I down? Remember. Maybe are you Whoever doing drugs? And Billy's like, no! Yeah! And leaves. Okay, more dancing. And all I gotta say is this. Like, why can't these kids just do heroin? This is all this marijuana making them dance and stuff. It's like the Footloose Town, but worse. All right, so to spin the plot forward, these cops are investigating the hit and run that Jimmy did. So they come by, look for Mary, whose car it was. And they're like, what were you doing on the day of this thing? And she's like, I have my car somewhere. And then goes to find Jimmy. She goes to the soda shop where she is deceitful and rather tricky and detective-y, almost like Sherlock Holmes. And goes and finds where the place is. So she goes to the place, and Ralph is there. 
and remember, Ralph has the hots for her. And so he makes her smoke some weed, and they both start laughing, because that's Ralph's thing. <laughs> See, Ralph is a laugher. That's what he does. And also, apparently, kind of a raper, because he tries to, you know, make out with Mary, and she does not want to make out with him. And then... A little fight scene a appears where Billy comes out, and because he's on Reefer, he apparently sees her making out with Ralph, Mary making out with Ralph, but he had a thing for Mary even though he just slept with Blanche. Oh my god, this plot is so confusing. Ugh. So anyway, he goes and he tries to, he, he sucker punches Ralph, just like a bop, 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 and they fight. And Jack comes out and tries to hit Billy on the head with a gun, but he misses, they struggle, and then bang! Yes, Mary is dead, and they've framed Billy. So now we cut to Billy's trial, where this beautiful scene with a random hanging cord turning into a noose with bad, bad, awful effects happens. Anyway, they decide to hang Billy. They're gonna kill him. So Ralph and Blanche are all set up at Jack and May's house. So then Jack comes back, Ralph is going wild, and then Ralph just starts beating Jack, just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and this lady calls the cops on him, and the cops come in, Jack's dead, Ralph is going way nuts, and they take May and Blanche to the, to the jail. So basically what happens to the end of the film is that Blanche gets all like, I'm just going to tell you what happened and tells him what happened. And she exposes all of the drug ring and everything. The drug ring happened, like, is, is broken apart. Uh, Blanche kills herself at the end. She j jumps out a window. Anyway, that's kind of the point. Billy gets off. Ralph gets uh, goes to prison for, in, but he goes to the mental institution because he gets claimed insane because of all the drugs he did, and uh, that's kind of it. So, yeah, uh, let us know what you thought of Reefer Madness. Uh, this has been my take on it. Sam, do you have any last closing comments? Um, Ralph has the best laugh. No, no, it's just, it's just good. It's just good.